can understand the excretory system uh, now we are talking about the nervous system of plant parasitic nematodes so basically uh, uh, nervous system is also divided into the two uh, types that is uh, two types name two part that is peripheral nervous system we are saying that pns p and s and the another one is uh, the central nervous system that is called as c and s pns and cns peripheral nervous system means uh, the nervous point uh, present on the periphery of the nematode body okay from the cuticle of the nematode body okay and the second thing central nervous system so central nervous system present into the center of the body means in in a in inner body tube like that you can see here the nerve ring is there nerve band is there it is a central nervous system it is a cns it is a central nervous system cns and other all parts from right from head to tail the all different uh the sensory organs are are part of the pns peripheral nervous system it is started with the it is started with the cephalic region it is started with the cephalic region cephalic region having 16 papillae 16 papillae six on inner circle you can see here this is the oral opening this is the oral opening having 1 2 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 Six on inner circle and ten on outer circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten and six, sixteen papillae, cephalic papillae are there. It is also called as cephalids. Okay, and uh, there is a one pair of amphids are also there. One pair of amphids, one pair of amphids also present on the oral opening and cephalic region of nematode. the cephalic region and this cutting or it is called as the n phase view n phase view n phase view in nematode when we cut the nematode head region head head region then you can see the six lips are there two are in lateral position two are sub dorsal position and two are sub ventral position having 16 papillae and one pair of amphids thereafter the another uh, and uh, these are the chemo receptors and the amphids are chemo as well as a uh, mechano receptor there are uh, the the two important uh, the sensory organ that is hemigonid and hemigonian hemigonid and hemigonian they are also present uh, near the excretory pore the posteriorly hemi hemigonian uh, hemigonid present uh, the posterior to the excretory pore and the hemigonium is uh, uh, it is a uh, uh, just behind uh, the excretory pore uh, parallel to the nerve thereafter the another uh, the important that is the one pair of dilids also present and it is on the lateral side both the lateral sides are near about uh, at the basal bulb at the basal bulb they are situated on both the lateral sides and these are also uh, tactile receptors thereafter later on the tail region there is a phasmid on tail one pair of phasmid cell there and it is a very important because if phasmid is there means it is a plant parasitic nematode if phasmid is uh, not present then it is a uh, it is a uh, it is a uh, nematode present into the class of adenophoria so phasmids are present at the tail one pair of phasmid means one is on uh, the uh, both both are on a lateral side there after one another important uh, the organ that is called as caudal ali and it is also known as bursa it is also known as bursa and you all know that bursa is present only in only in male nematode okay uh, in uh, some of the case if phasmids are more prominent if phasmid size is bigger or larger then it is called as scutella scutella and it is present in scutellonema one is one nematode having uh, the very large side large sized phasmids present and that is called as scutellonema 
thereafter and the all uh, the all peripheral nervous points are well connected with the uh, nerve band like that and they will transfer the messages simultaneously from uh, the points to the nerve ring and nerve ring also known as brain of nematode so they will also uh, pass the messages to react uh, react from any activities or whatever the action to reaction that will governing by the particular nerve ring nerve ring has uh, six or eight uh, ganglion bands present and uh, that will act uh, and that will govern in all the accessory point basically uh, sorry nervous point basically the nervous system uh, is uh, <coughs> depending on four to five important characters first is they are chemoreceptor they are mechanoreceptor they are tactoreceptors and they are thermoreceptors so according to that the messages are getting from the peripheral nervous system they will pass to the nerve band or nerve ring or brain of the nematode they, thereafter the again the brain will give the uh, the the messages to all uh, the peripheral nervous system and according to that nematode react uh, against uh, any activities like for feeding purpose like for uh, life like for feeding purpose like for reproductive uh, for mating like for all activities of their uh, daily routine that will be governing by the nervous system so today we discuss the nervous system also and uh, nervous system having uh, two part that is central nervous system that is our college uh, the brain of nematode and it is situated at the stemus of the, the esophagus uh, in between metacarpus and basal bulb and it is called as a nerve ring and it is also called as brain of nematode it's having six to eight ganglion band and it is well connected with the peripheral nervous system the second part of nervous system is called as peripheral nervous system having a different points or different sensory organ present from right from head to tail head having having six lips and on six lips having 16 cephalic papillae are present one pair of amphids are also present thereafter uh, near excretory pore there is a hemigonid and hemigonion is there and uh, on the lateral side both the lateral side near or um, uh, the basal bulb having one pair of dirids thereafter on the tail region are uh, one pair of phasmin on lateral side on the tail and male nematode caudal ally is there so these are the uh, these are the nervous system uh, of the plant parasitic nematodes thank you very much